I'm gonna show you how to make amazing articles with one click. Let's get into it. So I use a one click tool to write articles for me. Like this is a article on Zimwriter, which is the tool I use. You can get it down below, but I'll show you how you can turn this into something like this with just one click, including images, links, all of the product description for Amazon. You can even have lists, say for instance like this, a list of use cases, pros and cons, all sorts of great things. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I'm gonna be using the Penny Arcade. If you haven't seen our video on how to use the Penny Arcade, I have a few videos on Zimwriter. This one is how to use the Penny Arcade. Zimwriter's Penny Arcade, and then I have the Bulk Writer here. So both are gonna be used, well, probably just the Penny Arcade, but both can be used with custom uh, outlines. So let me show you what custom outlines are. So I recently ordered this uh, podcast studio portable that uh, helps with dampen the sound. And as you can see, I am the number one influencer video. But I want to create a blog because every sale that I make, I make an easy $20. So what I'm gonna do is copy this URL and paste it into Zimwriter's Penny Arcade. And let me bring that up real quick. So as you can see here, I have it in the Penny Arcade. All I'm doing is putting the link. I'm just gonna keep it pretty standard for an Amazon. Uh, but I'm gonna show you actually the difference in uh, a custom prompt and a just out of the box Zimwriter because it's quite amazing what Zimwriter does just from Amazon posts. We're gonna run this article twice. One just out of the box with no settings or anything and then one with a custom outline. So this is what it gives me. This is in Markdown, but it's easy to convert it into HTML. I actually automate this, so I actually never see the Markdown document because I use uh, a automation software that turns it into Markdown. But this is what it would look like when it is in uh, kind of HTML. I actually take this a step further using automation to turn this into a article for Medium like this. Um, but this was what it would look like essentially without doing any changes. You would have your H1, a little summary here, product features, uh, acoustic performance, pro, uh, portability, and setup and conclusion. And that's pretty much the gist of just out of the box. Oh, it also gives you a nice little picture of the, uh, the Amazon product. Let me pull that up actually. Right here. Maybe you don't even, yeah, you don't think you can see pictures. Ah, bummer. All right, so it gives you the Amazon product. It gives you this uh, essentially HTML, but let's show you what it looks like with the enhanced custom outline. Some of you might be wondering how I take it from a markdown all the way to medium without ever touching it. It's really easy. I do it through uh, automations using make. All these links are in the description and we have it in our community where you can just download this. It's really, really easy. Uh, you can just download this whole thing. Um, it's in our community. You just go to learning, go to, uh, actually. We have about 40, 54 people now uh, and growing. So it's pretty cool. You definitely should join us. It's all in our uh, community from Amazon influencers to reviews and Zimwriter, all the training is in here. And like I said, you can, with a one click, you can easily just import this. For example, I'll just show you, uh, I'll just grab a new one. You can go click import and then choose the file and one click blogger, save, and then bam. But let's get back to the fun stuff of custom outlines. So let's see how we can spruce this thing up a bit. I will be following this guide because you do need to follow certain, I guess, guidelines in order for it to work. So for example, they have your typical outline here. If you wanted to spruce it up and add some uh, H3s, you would add a little dash here. So as you can see, just a single dash before each item makes it a H3. If you do a double dash or two dashes, it makes it a H4. So this would be an H2, H3, H4. So you just have to be mindful of that uh, when creating some of these prompts. Also, there are special things you can do like lists, tables. You can choose the model, auto H3s. So if you wanted to add H3s uh, to a, a H2 and you don't know kind of what they wanted, you can have Zimwriter create them for you. You can pull up YouTube videos, optimize title, call to actions, 
all sorts of different things. A link pack, which they just added, and I can't wait to share that with you guys in the next few uh, days here. Uh, variables, amazing. So let's get into my custom prompt and show you the difference between the two. All right, so we have my outline here. I have design, optimize the title, performance, optimize title with an image, product specifications, optimize title with the table, pros and cons, a list, a list, and then frequently asked questions and verdict. So that's my outline I'm gonna be using. Same exact thing, I'm not gonna change anything here just to kind of keep it semi the same. Um, and uh, yeah, just gonna use only the custom outline and you can see the difference um, gotta love making mistakes when recording, but that's okay. So I'm actually going to, uh, take that image prompt out the image part. So I just took it out of, uh, right here. I think it was right here actually. And I, all I had to do is just change it to one of these. Um, since I want to keep it kind of the same, uh, I'm not going to actually add the image. I can add it later with make and some other things, but I want to show you the difference in quality. All right, so we have them side by side here. I wish I actually turned on the headers to see the difference in price. I feel like it's pretty much the same. Uh, you're paying less than a cent, I think. It's like point, a half of a cent or something. But the word, the word, uh, the word count is much higher and the structure is much better. I mean, the left side, if you look at the left side, this is out of the box product features versus compact and user-friendly setup. I mean, that sounds a lot better than product features. Also, if you look at the scroll bar, much smaller on the left side versus the right side. So uh, as you can see, there's no table, uh, acoustic performance, portability and setup and conclusion, that's it. Versus the, the right side, we have the optimized title. Remember we used the optimized title here and I believe we added a table or maybe it's the second one. So th this is the, pro oh, here it is. So this was the, let's just pull it up. We have, uh, let's go to uh, Penny Arcade, custom outline. So we have design, which was the performance right here, compact and user-friendly, reverb efficiency, and then we have, uh, op so that's an optimized title and table. So we should get a table right here. So here's our table. Specific specific specifications and the height and everything. Pros and cons, so we had a list for pros and cons. Pros and our list, cons and our list. And then we had frequently asked questions and final verdict. Frequently asked questions and final verdict. So as you can see, a much better outline here than just your standard. I mean, don't get me wrong, Zimrider does amazing work just out of the box. I mean, not only, this is what I was doing all my stuff. This, adding the picture, adding a few links, and calling it a day. Now with custom outlines, you can do way more, add a lot more, and I'll be showing you how you can do a, in a upcoming video, a one-click website where I take all of the uh, topical authority, all your pages, everything, and in a few clicks, possibly just one click, be able to do it all post it, add images, add links, all sorts of fun things. So I'm very excited for that. But uh, yeah, this is the power of Zimwriter. You're able to create these custom outlines and a lot more. So if we actually go back to, I believe it was uh, the custom outlines, we're not even scratching the surface with some of the other things. Like we did list, we did table. The model, you can change the model uh, if you're using say, Anthropic versus uh, like ChatGPT. Uh, you can add YouTube. I'm gonna be adding my own YouTube videos using um, some automations. I'll get to that in another video. We use the optimized title. Uh, voices, so if you wanna do first person versus third person, you can do that. Say if uh, you're, this would be actually pretty interesting for like a script writing. Like uh, first person, no, that wouldn't work. Anyways, forget I just said that. Uh, you can have a call to action, which I have, I think at the bottom of one of these um, articles, there's a call to action right here. Business inquiries, go to brandonduff.com. And so that's pretty cool. I don't know why everyone is trying to call me today for whatever reason they are. Uh, 
I just got like two calls during this whole video and then the whole video collapsed and I lost all my progress. So I had to restart everything, but luckily I had the video raw video. And so I was able to salvage the project, but it just took me longer. Anyways, regardless, be on the lookout for a one click video probably tomorrow. I'm actually gonna uh, probably, oh man, this is gonna be a tough week because my daughter's home for the week. So uh, I'm gonna actually have a video coming out to this week. One click does everything from start to finish. I'm probably do my video for uh, on setting up your topical authority, all your pages and blogs with the link pack coming up in the next couple days. Can't wait to share that with you guys from a brand new website to an, a full website that's making money, getting views and everything. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. Uh, but that's custom outlines. You can add so much more. This is just a basic overview of what they do.